Hey guys, it's Rico Ryan 4 here at Rico for short, and today I have another League of Legends match for you, this one featuring Shivana. Uh, I know that I do have another Shivana match already on my channel, but that one was a little bit, eh, it did have, like, the enemy team have, like, three or four, uh, disconnects, and, um, I didn't know much about Shivana, but now I just wanted to show, uh, cast this match, it's a great match I had. And I am with my friend, this is Bob. Anyway, so going to get started here. I will be jungling a Shivana. And me and Bob, as usual, gonna just stuff around in the beginning. Anyway, so on my team, I do have uh, this is Bob playing Gragas, and Ashpire, Malzaha, Soraka, and me playing Shivana. And on the enemy team, we have Elise in jungle, Caitlyn, Swain, Nidalee, and Nunu. So, their team comp a little bit weird, and this was from uh, Ranked. As I do, uh, I know I do have uh, in my videos a sort of separate, uh, a separate sort of category called Ranked Matches. Uh, well... I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to make a playlist that has ranked matches and then make them all just together. Uh, but just rename them like 28, blah, 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 instead of ranked 02 and all that. Anyway, so Greg is going to uh, leash for me rates. Oh, I'm going to actually take it, but he's going to give a little bit of damage. And that's going to be taken down really quickly from Shivana. Uh, that's just a really quick jungling speed. And then Greg is going to give me another barrel and going to leash red for me. Anyway, so, uh, I didn't actually get to mention in my last video, my Trinomir match, that that was also taken from a ranked game. Normally, uh, the most uh, videos you'll see on my channel now are going to be from ranked matches. But there will be some, obviously, that aren't going to be ranked. Anyway, so, uh, in top lane, we're going to have uh, our Malzahar versus Nidalee. Uh, in mid, we're going to have Gragas versus Swain. And then bot, we're going to have Caitlyn and... Uh, Nunu vs Soraka and Ash. Meanwhile, uh, Soraka getting uh, focused by Caitlyn and Nunu, going to get um, ignited, but her heal's going to be able to save her. Meanwhile, Ash chasing after them. Uh, did pop Ghost, I think, if she even has Ghost. No, she doesn't have Ghost. Oops, I'm retarded. Anyway, so but it doesn't look like that she's going to be able to go after her. Uh, go after them. Right, so Shivana, uh, probably one of now my all-time favorite champs. Uh, that's because, well, one, because she looks awesome. I mean, half dragon, that's awesome. And her artwork's pretty cool. Her, um, her classic skin looks awesome. Anyway, so, uh, right now, just invading the enemy jungle. They do have a Lee Sin. And look at this, really low. And he did start with, it seems, Cloth Armor, 5 Health Parts. Going to use my Exhaust, as I did take Exhaust uh, Smite. And going to be able to pick up the kill. And then continue this red. And then not even going to use my Smite. And then going to be able to take it down. Right, so Shivana's passive is Fury of the Dragonborn. Shivana's melee attacks enhance her abilities. Her uh, Q, her Twin Bite, uh, reduces the cooldown by 0.5 seconds. Her W, Burnout, extends the duration by 1 second to a maximum of 6 seconds. And Flame Breath deals 15% of the of the ability's damage to debuff targets. And then her ultimate Dragon's Descent attacks generate 2 Fury and Shivana gains 1 Fury every 1.5 seconds while in human form. So that's the great thing about Shivana. She does become this awesome fire-breathing dragon. Anyway, so her Q is Twin Bite. Shivana strikes twice on her next attack, dealing 78 uh, plus 78 physical damage. On the second, uh, whoop. on the second attack, the bonus damage is equal to 80% of Shivana's attack damage. And I'm not sure if the percentage actually goes up when you level it. I'm not too sure. And in dragon form, uh, Twin Bite cleaves all units in front of Shivana. Uh, so basically, you have a basic attack, and if you use Twin Bite, it's uh, like it does reset your auto attack timer, but it does deal, uh, like, two auto attacks, so you, basically, if you use an auto attack, then twin bite, it deals three auto attacks, and with a sheen, that's just an amazing amount of damage. If you can think about it, um, twin bite, if it deals two, and then you have a trinity force, 
So that's plus 150%. Um, plus 150%. That's basically like 5 auto attacks from one twin bite. So that's the great thing about Shivana. She has great damage output, even if you build a tank, which is what I do. Uh, sort of a little bit, um, a bit of damage, but it's uh, mostly tank. And I do actually get this um, build from my friend. This is Bob. Meanwhile, Greg is, uh, this is Bob, going after uh, Swain as he thought that I was going to gank, but was just going to steal wraiths, and he did ignite, which was a bit stupid. Anyway, so her W is. Um, Burnout, this is a skill like uh, almost every Shivana player likes to max first. Anyway, so Greg is going to be able to um, get a kill on Swain. And then Lee Sin going to try and gank this uh, Gre uh, Greg is going to queue after him into the turret. And then unfortunately get the kill really low, 30 HP. If only I can just get them, uh, get him. I am going to come around from uh, behind the turret. And if I can just hit him with my E or something... And it looks like I'm going to fail, but Lee Sin going to kick towards me, going to be able to get the kill really low now. And then I'm going to be able to just barely survive thanks to the health potion I was drinking during that. Anyway, so I did start with three health pots as Shivana is able to do that. And then meanwhile, I do have a cloth armor, long sword and some health potions. And that is to build into um, a... Magic's Razors to build into a Riggles Lantern, and yes, I did just use my ultimate, that was awesome, I'm probably thinking or thinking, but there was actually no point to me actually doing that, I just wanted to do that. Anyway, so, but a bit of an engage going down, Nuna getting really low, but so is Soraka, and then unfortunately Caitlyn going to be able to get a kill on Soraka. Meanwhile, Ash going to be able to get the kill on Nunu, uh, Caitlyn really low, if I had stuck around and then actually used my ultimate to catch up to her, then I probably might have been able to get Caitlyn. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, so uh, Malzahar going to be able to ki get a kill top against uh, Nidalee. And that's going to allow him to push further on in uh, against the turret. Anyway, so Burnout. Uh, Shivana deals magic damage per second to nearby enemies and moves a uh, percentage faster for a few seconds. Shivana's movement speed bonus is reduced over time. And uh, in Dragon Form, Burnout scorches the earth, continuing to damage enemies that stand on it. Um, normally if you want to go into dragon form, the great thing to do is use burnout and then dragon form, because, um, then the burnout, because, uh, I'll explain in a second, but first I'll get to her ultimate, because her ultimate, dragon's descent, passive, uh, Shivana reinforces her scales, uh, increasing her armor and magic resist by 15, uh, well that's a level 1, defensive bonuses are doubled in dragon form, and her active, Shivana transforms into a dragon and takes flight to a target location. Enemies along her path take 200 magic damage and are knocked toward her target. Anyway, got to gank this Lee Sin in the jungle. He is two levels below me, really low. And going to use my exhaust. He is going to flash away, but it doesn't matter. Going to be able to catch up. Then going to use my, uh, going to activate my dragon bite, but going to be able to take him down. And then going to run away. And anyway, Mazahar getting focused by this uh, AD nearly. So going to be able to take uh, be taken down pretty uh, pretty quickly. Anyway, I am going to run towards my en uh, ally Gragas and going to get pretty low from this Nidalee, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to use my Q, use my E, and then use my um, Burnout, and then uh, Gragas going to use his ultimate and then use his Ignite to pick up the kill on Nidalee, and. Uh, I'm going to be able to make it safely out. And I do have my Riggles Lantern, so I am going to be able to just heal up really quickly. Anyway, so... Uh, the great thing about Burnout in Dragon Form, Burnout scorches the Earth, continuing to damage enemies that stand on it. Uh, if you activate it and then use Dragon Form, when uh, Dragon Form, she leaps across, as you can see anywhere, uh, the path that she leaps... Um, leaves the burnout trail, so you, uh, you can use that, and then any uh, any enemies underneath you are able to get taken down. Meanwhile, Ash going to be able to get a kill bot on Caitlyn, and then Nunu is going to be able to just consume and then get out. Right, so that's basically her abilities. Um, the unfortunate thing about Shivana, she doesn't really have much. Um, she well, n none. Uh, no. N ugh no CC uh, bef 
pre level six and even at level six her ultimate isn't really considered CC. I mean it's a knockback but the knockback isn't that much and to use it effectively you have to be actually positioned pretty well. Anyway, so um Normally I like to take Exhaust on her because, well, Smite, obviously, Exhaust, because it helps in ganking, and uh, it's just a great skill to have, especially against AD heavy teams. So we have, like, a uh, Nidalee and AD Nidalee, you have a Caitlyn and a Lee Sin, so, I don't know, that just gave me enough, um, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it, it just uh, gave me enough thought to get it. Anyway, so uh, Ash going to exhaust, going to use ignite, and then uh, her ultimate onto Nunu, and then uh, Soraka getting focused. She does have ignite on her, but she is going to go up to this uh, uh, Nunu. I didn't actually notice on the map, so I could have gotten her, but it doesn't really matter. Going to be able to get a kill on Caitlyn, and that's going to be a one for one, uh, one for zero. Anyway, so Greg is going to be able to uh, get up to what is what's his name? Ah, oh, Swain, but going to get pretty low, but when I came here, Swain was going to just back off and then leave him alone. As I am quite fed, I have a third of my team's kills and I am 301 with the second most amount of CS. And I did also get first blood. Radio, so Shivana, um, great champion. She was not too recent, but one of the most recent, like five champions ago. Um, she's great in team fights. Her ultimate, um, with her dragon's descent with burnout, just able to deal so much damage. Oh, I didn't actually talk about Flame Breath. Anyway, so her E is Flame Breath. Shivana unleashes a fireball that deals magic damage and burns 15% of the, their armor for 4 seconds. In Dragon Form, B Flame Breath engulfs all units in a cone in front of her. Anyway, so going to use my uh, E, use my W, use my Q, and then going to be able to use my Dragon Form. There it is, and as you can see, the burnout scorches. Anyway, so going to be able to use my abilities. Going to go after Nidalee instead because Nunu going to get a bit too far and then I'm going to be able to use that is the um, E the flame breath uh, sorry something wrong with the microphone just then and going to be able to get um, the kill on Nidalee where our Malzahar is and then we're going to be able to push down this turret and the good thing about uh, Chivana's Q her twin bite it does uh, help really effectively on turrets and then you see I'm going to be able to take it down Right here, so uh, normally what you want to do in sh as Shivana in a team fight and Soraka are going to be able to actually get a kill on Caitlyn once again. Is Caitlyn not off to a, a good start? One and three, and our meanwhile Soraka two one two and our Ash is two o oh, two. Anyway, so what you want to do in a team fight with Shivana is, mm, pardon me, what you want to do is. Uh, just go into the fire, use your dragon form. Uh, you might not want to use it straight away. It's um, sometimes better to just use it until you absolutely need it. Because sometimes you can just uh, not use it. That's sort of the point of not using it. But anyway, anyway, I'm going to actually use my E to actually hit um, Swain. Anyway, so... Um, oh, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. But the good thing, uh, the great thing about, uh, Shivana, she's able to deal quite a fair amount of damage while soaking up a lot of damage. Um, the passive from her, uh, ultimate, um, is able to really take her down. Uh, not, uh, is able to make her really tanky. Anyway, so, I'm not sure how that happened. Soraka was able to 1v1 a Lee Sin and Soraka won. And this is a support Soraka who only has a Philo Stone and a Sight Ward. Wow, Lee Sin has a freaking Riggles Lantern. I don't even know how that's possible, but oh well. Anyway, so when I went back, had some health potions uh, and a Sight Ward. 
And I do pick up a Wits End. Um, Wits End, great, uh, great item on Shivana. It does uh, give attack speed, and that's great for building up your uh, Fury. It gives magic resist, uh, so it's great if the enemy has some AP carries that are going quite, quite well. And right now, there wasn't really anybody I was afraid of, but it's still a great item. And it also increases your magic resist by 5 for 5 seconds, and it stacks up to 4 times. So it's a great item against he heavy AP champs. I don't know why I got it against this, this game, uh, in this game, but I don't know. It's just one of my... It's just one of those items, regardless, that you build on um, sh uh, a champion. Anyway, so going to go up to this Nidley. Going to be able to use my twin bite. And then here comes Lee Sin. Level 6 and I'm level 10. He's going to pick a fight with me. My exhaust up in one second. And there it is. But I'm going to get exhausted. And then I don't want to do much. So I'm going to just dragon form over. And then they're going to continue chasing for some reason. Here comes Nidley. Uh, going to leap over the wall, and I actu actually am going to be able to take her, and I didn't want to use my exhaust, but it doesn't matter. Going to be able to take her down really close, and look at that, going to be able to take her down, and for some re somehow, I'm not even sure how that happened, I was able to kill the Lee Sin as well. Anyway, so that's going to get me a double kill, but unfortunately I do die giving them my killing spree, but I'm also going to be able to get an assist because Malzahar was able to kill Swain. So... Uh, three for one trade, well worth it. And I'm not sure even how that sort of happened. But, you know, great for us. Right here, so now I'm not sure what I'm going to be building. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe waiting for something. Anyway, so Greg is going to be able to take down um, uh, the enemy mid turret with the help of Ash and Malzahar, who are now going out to help the other lanes while Ash actually recalls. But uh, Malzahar going to go up to this Caitlyn, and Caitlyn going to get really low, and then that um, red buff plus Malefic Vision is going to be able to finish him off. Her off. Sorry. Anyway, so I do have a Null Magic Mantle. This was to build into a Merc, uh, Merc Treads. I should have waited a little bit more for the um, turret to go down, because then I would have been able to buy it, but it doesn't matter. I'm just able to get out now. And Gragas did want blue, so Mazahar going to give that up and instead um, not take it. But I'm not sure if... It's me, but I happen to maybe accidentally take it. Yep, there it is, sorry. So I do accidentally take it, and... Um, this is Bob was absolutely pissed. Well, he always is whenever I do that, because I accidentally seem to do that a lot of the time. And that's actually true, I ha um, do it accidentally, but, you know, whatever. Blue on me is still not that bad. Well, I mean, it's much better on Gragas or Malzahar, but... Yeah, you get my drift. Anyway, so going to go back into the jungle, back uh, back to farming. Um, we have all the base turrets, so... Um, I'm actually able to invade with not much uh, thought of a threat, because... Uh, they'll have to be staying back behind these turrets, and they've lost a lot of map control. So... That's a good thing about getting th these turrets, you're able to uh, gain a lot of map control, and that's just going to be able to help you so much more. Anyway, so going to just clear out his jungle, and then going to be able to just move on to helping my team. Meanwhile, Gragas and Soraka getting slightly chased by Nidalee, Caitlyn, and Swain, but it looks like they're going to back off. And Gragas is going to recall. Radio. so meanwhile, looks like me and Ash are going to try and push down this top turret. It is pretty low, um, about two-thirds health. And, yeah, so we're going to be able to try and take down this turret. Meanwhile, uh, Soraka going back and forth against this Caitlyn, and here comes Nidalee, so, and here comes Swain as well. So Soraka getting ganked here by three people, and then Caitlyn ultimate going off for some reason, and going to be able to pick up the kill. Anyway, so me and Ash going to be able to pick up the turret, going to go after this Lee Sin, but he is going to be able to put, uh, place a ward and then use his safeguard to get over. That would have been a waste of reward. I probably would have just safeguarded it to the minions, but, you know, whatever works. 
Anyway, so going to try and push down this mid turret now. But look at this. Here comes four of them. Five of them. Nope, four of them. I can't count. Anyway, so Greg is going to be able to p uh, pick off Swain. And then Lee Sin getting pretty low. 9 HP, 12, and he's going to be able to survive. Meanwhile, going up to Nidley. But really close. Oh, so close. If I had used my exhaust earlier, I probably would have been able to. But it doesn't matter. Uh, Greg is going to flash over, use his barrel, but it's not going to be enough as they did actually. Uh, she did heal herself. Anyway, so Greg is going to be able to get the kill on Caitlyn though, and that is going to be a two for none. Could have been three if we got Lee in, but it doesn't really matter. And that's going to be able to help us get this turret, but I ain't, there are no minions, so I'm going to be tanking turret shots. And that's not good because uh, that's going to make me lose a lot of health. Meanwhile, Ash Top going to be able to split push and take down uh, the top turret and hopefully try and take down this uh, inhibitor. Meanwhile, I am getting attacked by somebody. I have absolutely no idea who. Anyway, nearly going after the uh, um, Malzaha and then just going to be uh, able to flash out of the wall, uh, over the wall, out of um, danger. And meanwhile, I'm just going to heal up on some creeps. So normally my build for Shivana is, let's see, Riggles, Merc Treads, Wits End, a Phage into a Trinity Force, um, then I think it's a Warmogs, uh, it's sort of situational, you can get an Admas or whatever. But that is going to be GG, I hope you guys enjoyed this game, a uh, pretty quick game but you know, I just want to know a little bit more in depth about Shivana. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Leave a comment on who you would like me to play next. And yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.